good morning and welcome to the place where we're all mad, right? Like Reverend Heather said last week and out of Alice in Wonderland. So thank you for joining us for our craziness and our fun. And we'd like you to sing along with us this morning on our first sing-along song from Mary Poppins. This is called Let's Go Fly a Kite. Oh. We'd like to stand. other things you could do today, you passed up all those reruns to be here. And um, I'm Bruce Strenberg. I'm one of the staff ministers here, and I think most of you know that. My ministry is the science of mind and mental health, and so you're all in the right place. <laughs> and if you've never been here before, uh, we don't really care what you did last night or last year or even on the way here. Um, one of my favorite sayings is, yesterday ended last night. And so you're welcome here. We are a trans-denominational spiritual center. And what we do is we teach spiritual principles. And when you learn to understand them and apply them to your life, then you can make your life better if you'd like to. You can make it actually go worse if you'd like to. But raise your hand if you prefer better, OK? Good. I just like to check out the group I'm talking to here. OK, so everybody's in the right place, so welcome. We are going to begin with a call to service. Lighting the flames of faith, a call to service. We perform this ceremony to promote the universal consciousness of life, which acknowledges that all peoples and all faith, all sentient beings come from the one great universal presence which we call spirit. Fundamental to this truth is the unifying nature of all religious thought and experience, which we honor here today. We light the candle for the Tao, honoring the universal path of harmony and equilibrium, the natural way. We light the candle for the shamanic traditions, honoring the beliefs and practices of all indigenous peoples the way of primal spirituality. We light the candle for Hinduism, honoring the path of knowledge 
action and devotion. We light the candle for Judaism, honoring the ethical path of living by sacred law. We light the candle for all forms of Buddhism, honoring the Four Noble Truths and the path of compassion. We light the candle for all forms of Christianity, honoring the Christ Consciousness as the path of love. We light the candle for all forms of Islam, honoring the path of compliance with the will of God as the highest calling. We light the candle for the universalistic religion of Baha'i, honoring the path of unity and peace. We light the candle for all forms of new thought, honoring the metaphysical path of mental healing through the practice of universal spiritual principles. And as practitioner Tony Sparks lights the very last candle, let it represent the path that brought you here this morning. And now if you'll join me in an opening prayer. Right here, right now, this moment. It's refreshing to bring my attention back to the truth. The truth being simply this, that behind it all, there is only one. One life, one power, one mind. One infinite creative loving being that in its original state is absolutely formless. And thus it permeates and penetrates and occupies every inner space. And the nature of this one, this one being, is absolute love. It's also absolute power. It's all wisdom. It's pure intelligence. It is unopposed and therefore unopposable, so in a constant state of undisturbable peace. It is infinite capacity for beauty, for appreciation, for gratitude, for supply, for every good thing, every possible good thing. And it is constantly creating outlets to express itself. To do what life does, express more and more of its essence. So each of us is individually and collectively vehicles for spirit to express more of itself, and in this case, more love, more joy, more harmony, more prosperity of every good thing, including more peace, more appreciation, more gratitude. And so that knowing this is so, I know that I am, as everyone is, not merely a separate creation of this one, but a direct expression, which means that I am a direct expression of this infinite power, inexhaustible power, and inexhaustible creativity. So knowing that, I have the right and the power and the authority to direct that I claim for each person here that each person is finding exactly what they are seeking by being here today. That whatever veils of obstacles, no matter how large or how small, has kept anyone from agreeing to live the life of their dreams, these veils are being removed right here, right now. And any healing that's necessary is happening right here, right now, and absolutely, and it is palpable. So I do my part, I recognize this, I give thanks for this gift, and I simply release it into these perfect laws that I can trust with absolute precision. So I simply let it be, and if you'll join me in anchoring, anchoring it, and so it is. So it is.